Welcome back to Trauma Team. Hey, look, if we're counting backwards, yes! <laughs> I'll give that as a check mark. Uh huh. Oh, uh, yeah, all right. Next up, we have Naomi's, uh, it's not her final case, actually. Her next case, Demons mm -hmm. and yeah. Death. Maybe we can figure out what's going on with this bullshit. Now that we got that piece of bone from Chloe's, uh, trachea or whatever. A couple of them, man. Yeah. Yeah. Earthquake. Oh, shit! Uh, I was about to say, yeah, earthquake's happening. Oh, here comes the military. Uh. Uh-huh. What kind of Looney Tune shit? That old geezer. <laughs> my ass. Oh, where Gabe belongs. You look like you're having fun. Just what are you doing? Oh, you know, finding my next meal. Ah, Naomi. Perfect timing. You seem relaxed. <laughs> the quarantine's got everyone in a fit. I just understand how funny yeah, just in time just is. Oh, hey. Yeah. As he comes from the sky into the garbage. Huh? What do you mean? Well? Guys, guy got hit by a bus. Up. I mean, Can't how... Them find me. This guy lives a life. Guy got hit by a bus. He solved this mystery plague, so... So we think. And now he's gonna talk it over with somebody who can find oh. cause of death. You wanna think so this guy is like three characters in one? Just well, about, yeah. yeah. Cause, I mean, he's got like you know his yeah, strange you son and him. wife. He's he's got he got hit by a bus and and he got thrown from a helicopter into a trash can. It's... I don't. But you'll hmm. do it. He might be Mr. Incredible might underneath that coat. I feel like Hank Freeber should have done at least one of those. I can see arguing is a waste. The trash, the bus, Fine. or the solve the mystery. All right. Or the well, wife and kids. Sorry, body. that was the that was the you third option. Well, he ain't got no wife and kids. So. Okay, scratch that. Right. Is he going in the trash or is he getting hit by a bus? I think he's the bus kind of guy. I think he tanks that shot Did, though. He, yeah, he just just you know, like he parries that bus. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, that's a bus. Oh, that's. What <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that? All right, we got a call here. What do we got? It, oh. Answer the damn phone! Don't be afraid, mijo. Ooh. I... L okay. To set up the mood, I like that as your first piece of evidence. Yeah. The devil. The devil. It appears Harvey Weinstein is involved. Huh? What? Is that your voodoo hotline again? I just got a call from the devil, I'll Gabe. How's your wife? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I'm counting on you, Doctor. Didn't even say that with such sarcasm, yeah, no Doctor. Kidding. The devil, huh? What did you see? So these were the bones. Yes. Okay. All right. What do we got? We got human bones brought back from Usamrid by Doctor Gabriel Cunningham. Age, sex, and rache has yet unknown. Well, well. What are you doing in a place like this? Don't be that way. I can be pretty useful, you know. I'm sure. Oh, dude, it's the soldier that Gabe worked on. Yes. Sweet. I think it's a little guy. Uh, I don't really know. Anything. I don't know. They sound remarkably similar. I wonder why that is. At least help with this. I mean, I love your little, your, uh, Yuri Lowenthal's voice. I could play a whole game with just him. Hmm. I have a couple times. Just like belong. just him. No other character. Oh, he her. plays everyone? Yeah, he plays everyone. That would be pretty funny. He's a narrator, he's a main character, he's a love interest. Especially if the game had a tad bit of self-awareness, too. Like, I just want to him to read all of Disco Elysium by himself. <laughs> I'm joking, little guy. Oh, I, uh, I see. Our goal is to determine who this person is. Sex, race, age, and the time and cause of death. That's going to be difficult with no additional info. Well, we gotta we find that additional that. info. Still, we're gonna we'll do to that rest. right here. It's easy as pie. First, Check we'll it out. Let's call some spell. witnesses. Yeah. Who saw the it's devil? Not very likely to help us determine the cause of death. A doctor, the pieces may be contaminated. Use protective gear. I'll get you a sterilized suit and a mask. Yes, thank you. No need. I'm already dead. A skeleton <laughs> kept hidden. In the well, we don't want her skeleton. deader. That's yeah, true. Who are you? I mean, she's just terminal. We don't Where'd want her to, like, you know, from? actively die in the process. Let's Suit up, girlfriend. It's time to investigate these bones. Let's go. 
Okay, if she says that to like every corpse, it's like, show me how your life was snuffed out. It's just like, uh... Show me how you bit the big one. <laughs> All right. Show me how you keeled over and died. All right, step one. Let's uh, restore the these boons. Ooh, we actually need to restore them. Okay. Yes. There's oh, the right. skull. Yeah, right. Do, do, do all that. We're gonna be looking over every gameplay mechanic for this finale. Yep. Uh, uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to track this one because uh, now we have to worry about rotation, I believe. Oh. Okay. Well, not much for that one. That one. Yeah, that's easy one. Look for sharp points. Uh, I'm thinking maybe one of these. They go like. Uh, yes, right there. Right there, yeah. And then the. And that one goes right there. there. Uh, Ooh, um. This jagged part right here, I think, goes right there. That top left one, rotate it and put it on the right. You see where I'm talking? Oh. Uh, one more. Oh, oh, it, it just goes on to. Okay, well, that's easy. Yeah. Okay. Right. How's it go? Like that? Uh, oh, I, I thought. Oh, never mind, never mind. It's a different piece. Um, we don't have a piece to fit. Oh, wait, yes, we do. I'm sorry. Uh, so that lone piece underneath the top two. This one? Uh, one up. Oh, this one? That guy. Rotate that one. And do you see that rounded piece in the skull? It has a little rounded, uh, rounded part right there. Right wait, here? does that not fit? No. Oh, wait, shit. wait, 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 wait. It does. Oh, okay, okay. Then... I think we should speed through this. This is going to take some time. We have three other stages here. And a, and a lot of case to do, so we're just going to go ahead and hit that fast forward button. Alright, I think we're about done. This part is way easier than the other three were, that's for sure. Yeah. I think it's we got all these features here that we can work with. That's so nice. Yeah. Have you ever seen those puzzles that are one solid color? <laughs> oh god. Yes. I can't I can't imagine. I've Hun seen I've seen one that's like all cats and it's double sided. Yes. That's that, that that's a thing of of, of evil right Diabolical. there. Diabolical! Absolutely. We put this It's gotta fit in there. This has gotta be uh Oh, uh, that white part might be the nose. Nope. Yeah, maybe. Oh, there, yeah, well, there I, we go. I thought I had it. Right. That fit, that there. fit. Okay, there. And that guy can fit this there. This little New Jersey piece goes there. And that, uh, there is a piece missing. Uh, really? Are we going to talk? Are you sure? Oh, yeah, there there's is. a piece missing. There is indeed. Is this the one we that the cat ate? <laughs> All the fragments that were given to me have been placed. Does this mean there's a missing piece of fragment? No! In any case, the skull can't be fully put together in this state. Unless the missing section is found, there's nothing more that can be done to this skull. Alas, poor whoever. I didn't know you at all. I'm trying to find out who you are. Alright, now let's check the effects. Just, uh, the clothes that we found. Where did we find all this? I think little guy found it. Oh, oh look here. Yes. It's little guy suit. Duh. Could it belong to this individual? Hmm. If it was caused by physical trauma, then there's something unusual about it. What's the that unusual thing? thing? Hmm. There's no clothing damage. It's pristine, so there wasn't like you know any any you know, striking or stabbing or whatever. It's yes. just all there. It's no coughed damage. up some of that blood. Hmm. Either there's a reason why, or this blood didn't come from this person. Oh. Oh. He's got a key in his pocket here. Key? Oh, for nice. Cha-ching. More like key ching. Yeah. It. More like key chain. And I believe he's got another one. Here we go. Oh, Lord. Guy was packing. Yeah, he had he had Drogas. What is this? Skeleton belonged to Drogas? Criminal history. Whoever this is might be kept in the FBI's criminal history. <laughs> Time to dive into this, the archives. We got some leads to follow. Let's is. let's let's follow them. That's our cue to go back to the Arfis. But by office, I mean really it's just kind of the 
space outside yep. of the OR and Resurgum. <laughs> all right. Give so little guy all the things. Get the pocket syringe okay. case. I need you to analyze something. Yes, of course. Uh, what's this? I found Your own personal stash. Personal what do you think it is? Oh, thank I God! I was tying his arm. Drugs. Thank you for finding this, Doctor. This you didn't see anything. You're good at picking up on these things. This is the kind of thing that we do at the FBI, after all. Yeah. We'll look into what's in these ampules and see if the syringe has been used. It's going to take a while, so you'll have to give me time. Of course. I'll keep investigating the corpse. Probably blood. Yeah. And uh, next is the key. Hey, little guy. Can you tell me what this key is for? A key? Let's see. Magnetism. It magnetism. magnetism. It's a magnet key. What could a key like that be used for? Probably a safe or something else high security. Oh, there's a number on it as well. Hmm, I see. Can you find out where whatever it goes to is located? I, uh, I can look into it, but... What's wrong? Is there a problem? We don't have a clue where this key came it from. It came from the dead guy. It'll take a long time to find Unlock out. Unlock him! <laughs> oh, of course! All of his secrets! That's fine. It's still better than me trying to find this out by myself. The secret was in his magnetized no, blood. No! Fine, I'll take the key. I'll let you handle this thing. So he'll take the key, look into that for a bit, and let's can let's get the strange bone fragment and the skull that's incomplete. <laughs> I think we may be able to complete this after all! The tubercle to the angle. Chloe had swallowed pieces of human bone. Don't tell me. <gasps> Dun -dun 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 -dun. Uh, yeah, these were the two fragments. Yoink. And turn and yoink. Turn and oh, wait, yoink. place. Not yoink. You don't want to take it again. I think, think it's a chank. So a strunk. A kachunk, maybe? I like kachunk. Kachunk, yeah. Gives it some weight. It's like kachunk. Yes. The There's something in this bone. Some kind of pathogen. <laughs> this skeleton is just riddled with deadly. So, something about this bone that. Oh. oh, Dr. Kimishima, that man came by a moment ago. That man? Who are you talking about? The, uh, friendly guy. He said something about having finished reconstructing the Gabe? body. Gabe? Ah, you know, oh, Gabe. that friendly guy. <laughs> Alright, now we can observe the corpse as a whole. He's a friend of mine. I call him Big Guy. Greg House? You can look at them whenever you like. Perry Cox? Good. You're on top of things. Can you tell me what you've observed from it? Madison Gray? Oh, right. Little Guy's got a lot of friends, I guess. And a lot of doctors working on this entire thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the person was roughly 185 centimeters tall. Okay. A histologic examination of the bone detected 15 types of amino acids remaining. There was also a very high concentration of nitrogen. I've sent the results to your computer. Huh. Okay. Good. I'll look into it. It's possible to examine the body now, too. Ew. Is that an exploded rib? I don't know what it is. We're back in the evidence room. Skeleton's now complete for us. Let's take it. Let's take a peek. Uh, okay, missing a leg. Uh, some parts are rotted off, though. Ooh. Of course, we've got this thing on the knee. Hmm. What is Bone this tumors. Or at least the ick yep. on the bone. Got the ick there. To think that an external force could cause this it looks like effect. scraping. Yeesh. We also got this broken femur here. It looks pretty nasty. Yes, Jesus. The femur is completely broken. But why? In the human skeleton, the femur is... The tastiest bone. Yummy. It's the hardest one. <laughs> yeah, what could break a femur? Yes. It was the same in the uh, case when that girl Veronica crippling rejection? was off the bridge. <laughs> but the femur is the strongest among all the bones in the human body. What could have broken this so easily? Maybe this disease weakens the, the density of the bones, perhaps? Attacks calcium? Uh, looking at the arm here... That is just a rotted rib cage. Oh, there it is. Uh, there it is. Uh. What's this? These scratches on the bone look like an area that's been shaved off. Ew. That's something to look into. 
Looks like I need to look into what caused this damage. <laughs> At this point, a bomb! Uh, is there any... I thought there was something else. I mean, there's the lack of the arm here. And the rib cage isn't anything to talk about? Really? I, I suppose not. Is there anything wrong with the neck or the yeah. face or... Let's see, we got the left knee, the broken right femur, and then the scratches. I, I think that's it. Wow. Alright, let's give little guy some of this crap. <laughs> Shove it all onto him. Alright, so I got the markings on the right arm. Hey, little guy, can you analyze this marking here? Yes, of course. Let's see. Hmm, how does it look? Can you learn anything from it? Huh. Yes, uh, first of all, the damage was done recently. How recently? There's no discoloration on the bone tissue in the area that had been damaged. Oh. Hmm, I see. Does this mean that whatever happened here occurred after the person died? Testing on That's corpses? Right. I don't think it could have happened any other way. Maybe the bone just, From like, keeps to deteriorate after death? Oh. Like it eats at like bone? A router. Yeah. A router? The only reason I would expect that to happen would be... Ah, <gasps> uh, the reason To why... obtain a sample of it. Oh. Bam. That's right. The staff at U Samarid was using this bone for research. Barb to help find a cure. They shaved a sample from the bone in order to study it. Yes, you need small fragments for the high detail analysis. That's likely what happened to this bone. Hmm. Wait a second. What's wrong? <gasps> the researcher at U Samarid was infected while he was studying this bone. Oh. Using a router on the bone would cause particles of pulverized bone to be ejected. Highly contagious. Uh, gotcha. It's not that it's airborne. The bone fragments are what's venom. infectious. Ew. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's nice. Uh. All right, now we got uh, joint damage. Little guy, I need this damage analyzed. Right away. What's the matter? Uh, nothing. A bone abrasion caused this damage. Bone abrasion? What do you mean? Normally, wherever bones meet, there's a layer of fibrocartilage. In this case, the knee. That pad yeah. is known as the meniscus. It's, feel, this, it's hers just to think about. That prevents damage like this from occurring in most people's bodies. So it's really just two bones just... Together. Hmm. So these abrasions here... Were apparently caused, caused by, by no meniscus. The meniscus was gone. Oh, it absorbs it. Ah! <laughs> ah! Indeed. This would mean What's worse, nails on chalkboard or bones grinding? Still alive and moving. But what would cause this to happen? <laughs> it's a hard question, isn't it? Both at once. How's that? Ah! It's like, well, if someone's grinding nails on chalkboard. Someone's grind, you know, creaking your bones together while in a sawing motion. All right, now we got uh, fractured femur. Little guy. What could break a femur? Besides yes, a metal baseball bat. I, want your opinion I wouldn't on this break it though, I would just bruise it. Oh, okay. Just a second. Like you'd have to apply like well, a hydra anything? press to, to someone's leg to break uh, it. Ah imagery! Yeah. 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 Huh. What's this? This bone is hollow on the inside. <gasps> Excuse me? Oh like no! Someone corked his leg? Hmm. Oh Did this to occur while the person was still alive? I can't say about the fracture, but the loss in bone density must have occurred while the person Yeah, it is killing bones. It seems and to infecting them. The fracture was caused by the decrease in bone density then. Oh. That's good. Awful. That's good. Real Basically, good. if all if all your bones become brittle, you just shatter from the inside and become a bone bag. Diseased bone. I need this bone analyzed, little guy. Be careful with it. There's a danger of infection. Don't oh, breathe around it. Me yeah, I mean, I looked at like five of these bones, so. <laughs> Give me a moment. I smelled them. They Let's smelled see. very dead. They taste well, pretty good, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Start no, spitting up purple pustules. Out, there's nothing <laughs> unusual about it. Hmm, is that so? That's odd. What's so odd about that? This is the bone that Chloe swallowed. When she did, the same black focus that the patients in the quarantine zone had showed up inside her body. According hmm. to what Gabe said, the serviceman who had been investigating this bone... He had hemorrhagic fever! So, so in other words, do infected people's bones become ticking time bombs? 
it's a deadly virus inside this inside this person's bowl. Fuck. Pure evil. <laughs> That's a scientific reasoning answer, right? This of course. A virus that what caused the, the sickness? Evil! Evil is measured in hectometers. Because <laughs> it's evil as heck. That's pretty good. This is just a skeleton. A virus requires living cells from its host in order to multiply. Yeah, but living cells still happen so, in like a... This it, virus I mean, not only survives not the host's death, death, but can continue. Like the host may be dead, but the cells may still live on there in some sort of, you know, symbiotic relationship or whatever, you know, at least for a little while. I don't think you ever hear about it continuously living with bones, though. That's not like you. Calm down. If it's a virus, though, and they've got enough bone matter to chew on, you know, I guess they could rep self-replicate. Ew! I'm, like, I'm thinking bacteria, you know? Bacteria, that, that kind Probably of Probably closer to bacterial, yeah. diseases out there in the world that defy all our understanding and what we think of as common sense. All right. Let's assume that it is a virus. Okay, assumption time. That doesn't mean that all the mysteries have been solved. How does this virus live inside this skeleton? And why aren't we infected with the hemorrhagic fever after we've handled the bones? I really can't say at this point. Uh, it's possible is it because it's the was inside with the, virus, the bone, not the outside? Or perhaps like the skeleton it hollows out the bone and stays afterwards. inside? Hmm. In any case, we'll need to Ew. continue I think we still have some more questions to ask. We got some thinking to However, do! I can't explain why you and I haven't contracted the hemorrhagic fever. What? How? Well, according to what Gabe was told by the assistant secretary... Airborne infection is, is impossible. impossible. Right. That's right. They concluded that an airborne infection was impossible. This was because the infection wasn't spreading within New Samarit. If that's the case, it's unlikely that the virus is dispersed through a respiratory vector. Then it's gotta be something else, then. Spread? Well, in Chloe's case, the foci were located in areas where... Under the bone fragments, of course. Right. Indeed. The black foci only See, in order to cause a widespread infection, I'm imagining somebody contact. going around with, like, Taking pepper spray with this infection and just spraying people in the face. See, I don't, I don't think this is a case of, like, you know, someone going crazy, like, you know, like, ah, all the world will be you think, under... You think this is just happenstance? I think this is just a freak virus that got out of control. I mean, we, there's still a lot we don't know, though. In other words, the virus only has a limited means of transmission. I see. That explains the cat's case, at least. But what about the Usamrit research? What about the Usamrit? <laughs> <laughs> Slams hands on desk. Mm, good point. There must be an explanation for how that other serviceman was infected as well. And now the bloody clothing. Oh, oh it's God. getting good. Of course. Is this a blood stain? No, it's a tomato juice right. stain. No, oh, on my favorite DNA. shirt. I spilled my V8 on the, the, on the victim's effects. <laughs> problem. Give me a moment. <laughs> he immediately goes in, yet, puts guy? his finger through it. Hey, don't rush me, please. V8. Uh, Dr. Kimishima, what are you doing? The DNA matches. The blood's from the same person. Who dat? Huh, I see. If that's the case, what kind of hemorrhaging is it? A if bloody... If this hemorrhaging wasn't caused by physical trauma, then... Bah. There's something else, though. So it's his blood, like no one else bled on him. It's all him. But no wounds. So he had to have coughed it up. It had to have been it. So let's take the lost meniscus and combine that with decreased bone density. Abnormal decrease in bone density with a lack of cartilage. What we can deduce from these two events is... It all comes... A weakened skeletal system! Rumbling down. See, your bones turn to dust, like, Both long after you die, not while you're alive. That right. That's not how that works. While the person was still That's alive. just unfortunate. If these conditions allow us to infer anything, it would be that this person was severely debilitated by the time of death. What a terrible way to go. Yikes. Now we got the bone samples taken. Combine that with the unknown vector. That's right. Now we're starting to see how the serviceman at New Samrid was infected as well. The virus rests within that skeleton. The root of infection so is... Anybody who goes anywhere mucous near... Mucous membranes. Goes anywhere near this skeleton, infected. Yes. And, and it touches it one of your mucous membranes. With a mucous oh, membrane. yeah. Reaching a mucous membrane within the mouth or body causes the virus to infect that person. Like, like your skin, it'll be fine. Breathing, 
fine, but, you know, touching, you know, the squishy stuff on the inside. So did that However, serviceman kiss a bone or something? Collect a bone no, he was getting samples. Collect, collect a bone sample. How did it get in on in him? In order to obtain that sample, the researcher... But he shaved the bone. There we go. <laughs> Going for that sample, particles in the air, breathe it in, out of there. He probably got hella infected. This is likely what caused the research. I want to see my daughter again. <laughs> the reason for this is... He uh, inhaled the bone powder. Yep. Yuck! Breathing in, dead guy. Yes. Why aren't you Shaving wearing a mask? Mm, I love dead guy powder. <laughs> I think that'll be the new uh, <sighs> gamer subs flavor. You've heard of grandma's ashes now for dead guy powder. Dead guy bone powder. <laughs> Mix it into your favorite energy drink and get a taste of. <laughs> it tastes like chocolate milk. Extra chalk. Choc chocolate milk mixed in. Pickle juice. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, what so else now we, we got? got? Matching DNA. You can have. Hey, you can have guy. a little guy Could look at that. Something for me? Who sure. this? We need to figure uh, out who this. Haven't I already analyzed this for you, Dr. Kimishima? Yes, but I want to know more details. Like, like what? I wanna. We know now that the. It's been a long day, Doctor. Can't I just not? There was no obvious damage to the deceased's clothing. Can you investigate in detail into what kind of hemorrhaging would have caused that blood stain? I see. All right. Can you give me some time for that, please? Oh, jeez, fine. She goes yes, and then taps her watch. Uh, Dr. Kimishima. See, look. Oh, oh hey. The syringe is complete. The syringe. Right, so we got some, something different. What, 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 what we got in there? It's is it the virus? Interferon, acyclovir, ribavirin, lamivudine. I don't, oh. know, any, I don't know any of these. Slow down a second. I've heard of two of those. Um, it's the medicines that were confirmed to be in the syringe and the ampules. All that was All right, in? so it's not like, you know, hard drugs like heroin. It's Seriously, more like antiviral drugs. Antiviral drug on record is in this list. They were trying to antiviral solve drugs. how to get rid of it. There was even so in order to try to get rid of this, they pumped him full of antivirals? Yeah, even ones that aren't even, like, all, all the way on the market yet. Oh my god, this thing was resistant against everything. Just what were these reported side effects? Well, let's see. Well, uh, you lose your bones. Hey, looky there. No more calcium. Punction to drink some milk would have been fine. Milk bones, helps build strong bones. A drug that robs calcium from the bones. Well, that isn't its purpose, of course, but that is what happens. <laughs> I see. If you have too much calcium in your bones, <laughs> try Ashvins. The deceased had a large Let's try it now! <laughs> Along with a dangerous, unapproved drug that caused oh. calcium deficiency. Side effects include seizures, I guess. Limbs are just flopping everywhere without bone structure. Rah. Right, so now we have weakened skeletal system with the antiviral drugs. Yes, it seems I mean, that's that a pretty obvious link. Together. We just like them together the because of the calcium and the milk and the gut. found in the corpse's personal effects. And an ampule of ashfins. <laughs> Give me some milk stat, little guy. I'm going to pour it all over these bones. The reason that ashfins was never approved was because... Uh, did, uh, isn't that what we just talked about, Doctor? <laughs> Uncontrollable crying, too. <laughs> a 50 kilogram person's so, I think the weakened bones is just a side effect. 99% of that is in the bones and Well, teeth. not exactly a side in effect, words, like, the side effect of the happened to happen is... while working on this, uh, decreased bone to on this disgusting virus. Left foot, yes. right foot, step, step, step what here. What first comes to mind would be an abnormal decrease in bone density. Considering the information that's been gathered so far, this person likely administered the Ashfin's drug to... To themselves. To fight the virus. So they might be a doctor. Yes, themselves. The first piece of evidence supporting that is... <gasps> the fractured femur. Yep. It's like, oh, I just took this, uh, this, uh, Benadryl pill, and, uh, I'm feeling fine, but- God, ah, my leg! Exactly. And then, of course, the loss of the meniscus. Dead. Which means for his skull to shatter, he probably just, like, 
fell on the ground and it yes. broke like porcelain. The loss of the meniscus yeah. in the left knee. Yeah, almost every single part Thus, of him that broke, that the he probably just system. fell on the ground and all of that happened. It's got the, due to the side effects you, of the bone structure uh, density of a 90 year old. I have a bad feeling about this. All right, what's next? Got all that. Da, 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 we could probably put the shattered rib cage with the dude. Dangerous inf wait. Yeah, dangerous infections with dustborne infection. Yes, it seems that these can be combined. It's these a dangerous dustborne infection. Down Duh! Hemorrhagic fever via contact. And I'm allergic to dust, so I'll be extra and dead. Whoever this was, they had been taking large doses of antiviral drugs along with a dangerous unapproved one. It's likely that this person was. A sucker dead. <laughs> infected with the virus. Hey, there we go. A terrible doctor. <laughs> yes. This individual had been infected with some kind of virus. That virus itself was if bad. The case, then the cause of death was. I should stop making conjectures. I need some hard evidence to back these theories up. Need some evidence that has five o'clock shadow and smoking a cigar and drinking some whiskey. That's some hard evidence. If we could find traces of that disease. Okay, we're getting there. Hemorrhaging from all over. Is something wrong? Oh well, we just received the results from the analysis. Oh. It says yep. blood stain on the person. There you go. Cold that's cold the cold kind cold. of hard evidence I'm talking about. Hemorrhagic so fever. That's so. That's hard, hard evidence. That means that he tasted his. <laughs> he vomited it. A blood splatter from elsewhere. Seriously. <laughs> Of course! It's yes, not the it obvious answer. Wait, wait. I think one of them also said gunshot. <laughs> that would explain why they were not so dead. Okay. I think we can match the blood Traces with the dead. Of vomiting blood with the death by hemorrhagic the fever? On the uh? the person vomiting blood. The viral hemorrhagic fever causes bleeding from all over, both internally and externally. Vomiting blood is one of the signs of this disease as well. Hmm. This person died of viral hemorrhagic fever. The evidence that I'm drawing that conclusion from is... Duh, the well, fact that he died. The fact that he doesn't have any clothing unchanged. Like, he, he didn't get stabbed. No, no, no. I mean, a syringe. That, that would cause that much bleeding, though. Bleeding. Bleeding. No, I mean, no bomb, no syringe, I no, doubt that go on no harm, except, except internally. The saliva, I think, is the clinching factor Thus, there. The traces yep. of vomit and blood on the clothing indicates that this person died soon after this attack. Yeah, I just went, and then. So I'd say exsanguinations would kill them. Solid evidence. Puked up so much blood, he didn't have any more blood left in his body to give! And yes. then his bones gave out, and then it's terrible, yeah. and then his the shoes fell off. Broke out. This person and then his net worth went down. <laughs> and then he lost his home! Who in the world are you? And then he got made fun of on Twitter! Who in the Dr. world are you? The most unfortunate person. Go on. Yeah, what you I got? Something. I'm all ears. Well, this antiviral reagent, Ashvin's... It was rejected by the FDA for its dangerous side <laughs> no Oh, shit! No, I can't, what? Oh. The large amount of antiviral side effects include like loss of skeleton. These things aren't available to the general public. You have a point. Someone who would have access to these things would be... A criminal! Or in the health profession. It could be a famous billionaire, too. I feel like Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg would have, it like, would you know, Ashvins. The they probably put drugs, it in their and cocktails at night. Viruses. It's like, this gets rid of bone structure, pfft, weaklings. Now they put it in their products. <laughs> it makes sense. I jumped into a Tesla one day and all of a sudden I felt weaker. That's what I think. So that's a solid bit of evidence. He is a health professional. We got that much. It's fantastic. Let's move on to the next step. How can we identify this individual, little guy? Oh shit, I think this is the guy I called as the surprise villain. Who's not actually a surprise villain because be a we knew he was a bad guy? Or is my opinion of you over? Uh oh. Well, you're you're making assumptions. Let's not this let's not jump to conclusions yet. I want to make an ass of me and me. You can't do that. You by have to do it step by step. It is a procedural. This has always no. been a procedural. I know. I just want to slam my hands on the desk and point at somebody. We don't have time for complaints. Shout objection. Look up details about skeletons in our forensics database. Send what you find. I mean, if they do autopsy, I think they'd know how to identify skeletons. But you know. yikes! G give me a moment. <laughs> don't fuck with Naomi Kimishima, man. Me to send them She'll eat you. Right. <laughs> now it's time for the grand reveal. 
Let's compare the skeleton's characteristics with our information. Yup. Then we can confirm just who this person is. Who that? Okay. Who that? Who, who, who that? Determining gender, Determining age, head, and race. And of course, gender. Ribs. Or, 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 or <laughs> time of death. So yeah, age, gender, race, and death. We gotta do that, we gotta look at the skeleton. Okay. Let's see. Alright. So. Every single detail. Check the pelvis. There's no damage to the pelvis. I should look at its shape, just in case. And then we're gonna take all this information back to the office and then turn... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Got the pelvis, the orbitals... To let us know about race. Bones. Is there any information that can be deduced by the shape of the orbital bones? Uh, yes, Naomi, you should know that! Got the top of the skull here. She just says that from time to time. <laughs> can we use the skull to identify who this person might be? I, I don't know! Miss medical professional who's worked this kind of field before? What do you think? The other voice in her brain goes, Yeah! T duh! Uh, uh. <laughs> I recall that the cranial sutures can tell something about a body. I think that's it. Just the pelvis, orbitals, and top of the skull. And so. Yeah, and we already have the rib cage stuff. Yeah. All right, let's piece it together. This should be good. I was always wondering how people in forensics were able to piece this together. Okay, so for a, well, this is pretty obvious. Uh huh. I wonder. So yeah. Straight into oh. the eyes. Pelvic shape and determining age. That's assuming age. Uh, determining age. Or, uh, gender. I wrote, wrote down. Oops. Skull with skull, pelvis According with pelvis. The materials at hand, this skeleton's gender is... Well, it's obviously male. Both or neither were things that actually came to her mind. This is secretly a bear. Pro-trans. Yes. The pelvis is heart-shaped. Okay. Yes, we can deduce we got that the a skeleton did. is male. All right, and then assuming age and the partial CS right. fusion. A person's age at death can be determined from the state of the cranial sutures. That I didn't the know. The cranial sutures here have partially fused, indicating that this person's age was... Oh, they're really asking a lot for the average player. It's in their 50s. I think there might be some requisite details in them, but... Yes. The fusing is consistent with that of a person in their 50s. In other words, it means that this person was around 50 years old at the time of death. All right, now for the assuming race mm -hmm. and triangular orbital bones. The German physician Blumenbach established a distinction of five major branches of human anatomy. One point mentioned in determining a person's race by skeletal features is the shape of the orbital bones. Mm -hmm. I did and not know that. The yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This skeleton's race is... This guy is a whitey. Bang. I do like how there was a, a differential between Indeed. Caucasian and American. This skull has the characteristics <laughs> of a Caucasian. It would be a lot fatter, you see. Yes, indeed. Then bone nitrogen concentration and... A Time of 15 death. types of amino acids were detected in the skeleton. There was a very high concentration of nitrogen as well. If I compare this information with the materials available... This guy died two years ago. And now we are about to reach our conclusion. That's right. We can assume that this person died somewhere around two years ago. Hmm. Someone had this disease two years ago? Long hmm. before this pandemic Interesting. Began. This fact alone won't get us anywhere. But if I consider it in light of other information, a hmm. Caucasian male in his 50s who died two years ago and was familiar with viruses... Hmm. Greg House? He's got the leg fucked up. He didn't die, the though. Information we need it's it's season nine, you know. <laughs> he didn't die, though. Now we'll hey, dude, we don't know what happened. Remains, these Rode off into the sunset with his... Dying friend. Yeah, and then he swallowed some bone, and then. <laughs> <laughs> what they didn't tell you. Oh yeah, it's the failed pilot that never got to air. You know. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like after Mash, after House. You know. We yeah. couldn't identify this body after all. Scrap it. But there is an important fact that I, I think we have a better idea who he might be. First, let's sort out what we do know. 
We'll God, we're going to have to go through the archives, see who died two years ago. First is the time since death. The card with that. All right, is... so uh, which which card talks about the time of death? The, uh, how about the, the how about the time of death card? The time of death card. Why do they have us do this? Yes. The to piece everything together bit by bit, so we cool. understand entirely how it goes, and also it's about the reveal. That makes sense. Before it was found, this suggests that the body wasn't under. You played Dongan Rampa. You know all about this shit. Mm -hmm. Next, I have. It's almost the exact format the too. Besides, this is this sounds really good in a court of law. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, skeleton belonged to. It would, it, would, it would be a male skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that cock. Look at this pelvis. Look at that cock. Six. That's some tailbone However, right there. Build, he could hardly be muscular. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just Next, just remembering AI the Somnium Files. Skinny ass white boy. Being able to comment on people's skeletons. <laughs> it's a damn good looking skeleton. Alright, how about the age? How about uh, the age? How about one? the age card? Yes. <laughs> We're about to play the race card next. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this okay. Was at least in his fifties. It's possible to determine his race as well. Hold on, we need to find an opportunity this to play the cracker card. <laughs> based on the evidence. And hey, wait a minute. I get it. I'm white. <laughs> Racial differences oh, are mainly silly. exhibited in skull shape. The eye sockets, cheekbones, nose ridge. It's clear. This was Gabe. Oh no! <laughs> I remember I his. He gave his him. own skeleton to <laughs> me. He was a spirit from the. <laughs> that explains how he survived the bus crash. What a he twist! He was already dead. He was already dead. That would have been an anime twist of all anime twists. Da -da -da. It would have been. I would have been insulted. Absolutely insulted. He's a health professional. Yes. He tried if to inject himself with every him, antiviral known to man. None of them worked. In addition, it's likely that he worked in pathology. Which means that uh, whatever this is doesn't work against that kind of crap. Might be because it's like alive and making tumors as what it gets moved around, so... This thing's violent. It this does not go down easy. So anyway, he definitely died of hemorrhagic fever. A virus Thanks, Gabe. A corpse long after the host dies. I don't want to believe it, but... Bones don't lie. Everybody lies. The virus Bones don't. Everybody lies too. This is secretly like pneumonia the too. Died. The worsening. <laughs> pneumonia <laughs> too. He understood what was happening. He knew why he died. He knew, and it shows in the last words he had to say. Oh my God. <laughs> That hmm. is the truth, illuminated huh. by the light of this life. So there he, you go. He made a deal with the devil and made a super virus accidentally. In mind, I can use Something the happened. I mean, we got we answered this mystery, but there's still way more questions. <gasps> and no, don't fade to black. Tell me. Okay, good. Hey, hey, you listening? Where are you going? Just be quiet and follow me. We need to talk to oh, the chief. What's the chief now that we don't? Hey! You! Chief, Julie. I'd like to speak with you. So you finally arrived. <laughs> My real uh, name is El say? Diablo. It, it means friend in Spanish. The bones Gabe came here with contained the infectious virus. No, it's amigo. That means friend, as an El but Diablo es mi amigo. Is not carried by air, <laughs> the, the devil is my of friend. Bones being a source of pandemic is low. However, they may still be a clue to finding a solution. I can't believe the two of you could find out so much. No, this is just a coincidence. Still. Dr. Tachibana should be done with a biopsy on the same virus. Hmm. A vector of infections unknown, but we've ID'd it. You think we'll make it in time? No. It's near hopeless. The disease advances too rapidly. Okay, at least she pointed that out. Yeah, it's impossible. Before we finish the DNA analysis. 
Well, at least Damn no it. more will Isn't die, there any right? Other lead we can follow? That's a huge body count for this thing. This isn't a clue, but I have one more thing I must report. I am hungry. You must report? I am very hungry. I compared God, how do I find McDonald's on this? Database. We got a, we got a hit on the guy? Person was a match for the Ooh, database. I think we got a hit on the guy. Ooh. Who is it? Hank Freebird! Oh. Him? Yes, Albert Sartre, a professor oh. of biology. Uh, vanished who? after the Cumberland College incident. Oh, hey, that looked like the same place CSR 88 was in, in his flashbacks. I think he might have something to say about that. Well? Oh, no. Yeah. I don't want to hear about a missing girl. That's sad. Mm -hmm. Well. Oh, no. We have a name. We have a new lead. Finally! I think things are starting to turn around, I think. Perhaps. Perhaps. Next time on Trauma Team, we're hitting up Maria and some more surgeries with Missing Girl. See you then.